we all know him as pal in school. That's what that's what we call him, you know. He is kind of just a laid back teacher that everyone feels like you know him really well. He enjoys teaching us. He enjoys having us learn. Whenever I put something together in class, you can see his face light up. He likes to see us succeed. I've known him for a long time and he's always been somebody I can go to. Not only is he a fantastic teacher, I learned a lot from him. He is also just a great person to go to when you're struggling with something or you just kind of need somebody to talk to because he's always willing to listen. That's why we practice. Like, no, nope, that's why we practice. You don't fumble with it, right? Caring about the students, that's that's part of, you know, my mind, part of the gig. They're each, you know, their own individual and my, you know, part of my job is to care about them. They become like sons and daughters and it's, it's my job. I first met Mr. Powers probably on the football field, I think. Much more extensively after that, um, he coaches gymnastics and he had a, a way of reassuring these girls that, you know, what they were doing was safe and that they were functioning at the highest level of their ability. You know, whether it's teaching or, or spotting or whatever, that's one of the qualities in life that we should all aspire to, you know, that ability to let somebody function at their highest level possible and, and to make it about them. He's an EMT as well, and he serves our community as a volunteer fire department uh, member and a volunteer EMT. Every rural community that I'm aware of always struggles to have enough EMTs and, and EMS workers available. And um, uh, one of the things that uh, Chad recognized is that there's no better pool of you know, interested young people than, than high school kids. In the class, it's covering the same material as they would take in a tech school if they took the EMS course, medical ethics to terminology to CPR, the base knowledge they would need to, to go and become an EMT. Well, these kids are just starting out and you can see they're a little tentative and by the end they know what they're doing they'll correct each other they'll help each other you know I don't even have to go over another student will go over and help them through it it's amazing to see the collaboration it's just an awesome feeling that you're you know you're helping these kids build knowledge build skills you know become adults the reason I took the EMT class is because I'm planning on going pre-med in college and then med school and then hopefully surgery is my plan currently I thought it was really important because CPR is a really big thing you need to know and who knows you could be driving around Green Lake and then showing up and you see someone on the side of the road and needs help and you'd be able to help them. He taught me so much about science which is I mean like he's part of the reason why I'm still sticking with science during college. I have to thank him for all of it because without him and without that inspiration of you know here's what you can learn with science here's what you can do as an EMT here's how you can change the world I like I don't know where I'd be without that. That combination of student connection community connection and then bringing it all together is a skill set that is very unusual and because of that unique combination of, of uh, skill set and contribution to, to school and to community I thought he was the perfect person for the award. I'm not doing anything that other teachers aren't doing I'm you know as a part of a real community you, you do what you have to do you wear the hats you have to wear you do what you have to do to, to make it better for kids but it feels good to you know to, to get a little pat on the back for that and that somebody notices that hey you're you're working your butt off to help make life better for these kids. Mm -hmm.